Hey everybody, Mikey Cat Outdoors here. So what are we doing today? I'm doing a test of the Tensa Trekking Tree versus the Tensa Solo. So you can use these if you're in a situation where you've only got one tree to hang up with or you're in a situation where you got no trees. So let's check it out. Hey everybody, Mikey Cat Outdoors here. So what are we doing today? Well, I got the Tensa Trekking Tree. So I had Tensa Solo that I reviewed a couple of years ago. It's basically an aluminum type pole uh, that you can use for setting up a hammock pretty much anywhere. So if you have one tree, you really only need one pole for it. Uh, if you're somewhere like a beach or an open field where you have no trees, then you get two poles. And this is kind of a lighter weight version of the Tensa Solo, which I'll take this out real quick and show you. The Tensa Solo, I say, is just a big metallic pole that extends out several sections, goes up to about five feet long, roughly, and it's got a little piece of spectra cord here basically with a toggle on it that you put around your uh, continuous loop of your hammock and then way up on the top I added a little micro beaner there's a couple little uh, taps up here where I was able to just attach a tarp on top so I did that review I'll post the link out there for it um, but it's nice if you're like motorcycling or car camping or something you're somewhere where you got a campground and all you got is like one tree out in the middle of nowhere and there's no other trees around you want to put up a hammock you use something like that but if you're hiking in somewhere and you want a little less weight on your back to worry about um, this here is part of a <laughs> multi-piece trekking tree and so it's got different parts to it um, you get whatever black, yellow, or orange cap that you want, and you can take this off and basically screw on the foot whenever you want, and this will eventually become like the top where you're going to have a hook on here. I'll show you in a bit, um, but you'll be able to hook your hammock and your suspension and stuff on here, and then you can put your tarp stuff up the top. But on a regular application where you're actually using it as a trekking pole, um, what you would do is this piece here with a big wide foot. That's when you're using it for hammock camping. But whenever you're using it for actual trekking pole, you've got one that you can put a basket on. It's got a regular foot, you've got the carbide tip, all that good stuff like a regular trekking pole would. And you've got an adjustable section here that you can basically adjust the height that you want this guy to be inserted. So, you know, however tall you are, make a trekking pole however high up you want it so it's in, you know, good ergonomic uh, height for you. And then you got some other little sections here, and they all just kind of like screw together or screw apart. And so you got some, you know, inner pieces here. It's like little threaded screw things in the ends of them and whatnot. But this is the version 2.0 trekking tree. Um, I kind of held off for a while on buying this one just because of the price. It's like twice as much as a Tensa Solo. Tensa Solo, you're probably going to be in like 130 range or so, whereas one of these trekking trees, you're going to be in like the 250 range. So, eh. A little more hurt on the wallet but uh, you know it's about half the the weight roughly or so it's a lot lighter um, you get to double up on it in terms of being able to use it as a trekking pole when you're hiking along and then you know your stakes which in this case I got 40 centimeter uh, boom stakes titanium pole and then uh, you've got your little centerpiece here you just kind of put it in like that in the dirt and then you wrap your line around this hook and around this and they'll come out and I'll show you that in a moment um, 
but this is good for like medium to firm ground. And then I got uh, another option here that I bought last time when I got the uh, Tensa Solos. I bought these separately. Some orange screws and the actual like container that they fit in, you can use as like a handle to screw them into the ground. This is supposed to be really good for like real sandy soils. So if you're on a beach or somewhere that's, you know, real, real sandy, loamy, you know, you can use something like this. So depending on soil conditions, you know, there's different things that you can use. Um, but one thing I'm surprised that my trucking trees did not come with, and it says on the list here, <laughs> two guy lines. I don't have guy lines with this one. So I don't know if they made a mistake or if that's just a misprint, but I'm gonna reach out to them. Um, thankfully though, when I got the Tensa Solos before, um, they had the option of straps or you could get the uh, whoopee slings. So that's what I got with the Solos. I actually got the whoopee slings. So I'm gonna be using those uh, when I set up a Tensa Solo versus a Tensa Trekking Tree out at my tree out here. And I'm just gonna play pretend that it's the only tree in the forest, so to speak, just for illustrative purposes. But it'll kind of give you an idea of the differences of them and we'll go from there. Tensa Solo, everything, boom stakes and all that in there. You're at about two pounds, 6.8 ounces or 1,102 or so grams um, that's per trekking pole or sorry per tensa solo so if you're going to do one of them that's all you're going to have if you do the two multiply it by two and then for the trekking tree you've got one pound 14.1 ounces or 855 grams. And since I know someone's gonna ask what's the weight of this without the boom stakes or any sort of ground staking, the pole, all of its components and stuff, and the bag, all that is one pound, 4.5 ounces, or 583 grams. So the Tensa Solo by itself with the uh, bag and the whoopee slings in there, uh, no boom stakes, 830-ish grams bouncing around, uh, or one pound, 13.2-ish ounces. Your two boom stakes are roughly 271 grams. Or nine and a half ounces. Compare that to say a couple of these orange screws. You've got about 11.8 ounces or 337 ish grams. All right so there was a uh, subscriber that was asking about uh, the height of these poles. So the Tensa Solo, the little loop where the hammock uh, mounts on, that is about 59 and a half inches up. And the loop where the tarp would hang on to a mount is about 68 inches up. And then on the trekking tree, the hammock mounts around 64 inches up and the tarp can be somewhere in this 74 to 77 inch range now mind you this is fully extended here on the trekking tree um, you've got a few inches of play here so i've got it in the minimum amount of insertion right now that you can have in there but you've got about another seven and a half inches of play in there um, so you can lower this down a little bit on the trekking tree or you can raise it up and part of that's also due to the fact that this is a trekking pole in a sense when you're not using it you swap the the foot here on the top down to the bottom and then the bottom section that's got the support for when it's in hammock mode you 
just take that and put it off in the bag in the side. Um, but height wise, they're somewhat similar. You've got a little bit of a height advantage on the trekking tree if you want it, or you could put it down where it's a little lower, but you're gonna be roughly in that five foot range in terms of how high your hammock is gonna be mounted from. And then when you're leaning that pole at an angle, depending on how you know acute that angle is gonna be, it's gonna take a little bit of that height off. So it just gives you a rough rule of thumb. I would say you're definitely gonna be more than four, four and a half foot up in the air. I mean, as long as you ain't doing some weird, you know, 45 degree <laughs> wonky thing, it's probably gonna be like a 60 or 70 degree angle or something you're gonna be mounting that pole at for the most part. So, like I say, you're gonna be somewhere in that five foot range and then say five and a half to six foot up there where the uh, tarp's gonna mount up to. So, you know, it's kind of the difference in the heights. All right, so I got it set up now in trekking pole mode. And like I say, I got the regular rubber foot end here. And screw on that part, you got this little section here. It's got like two pieces screwed together. And then you've got this adjustable section. So you've got the lever that you can adjust the length of whatever you want this to be at. So you just find where your arm kind of goes out to about 90 degrees and then you just kind of latch it in place and then you got your cap on top. So that's kind of how you just hike around the woods with it. So you don't have to have this extra weight in your backpack when you're hiking around. You can dual use it as an actual hiking pole and this is rather stout. Uh, <laughs> It's a lot thicker than a regular uh, black diamond carbon fiber trekking pole out there. So, uh, you know, something happens. On guard! I am an eagle Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. So, <laughs> uh, I think you could uh, ward off Sasquatch or something with it, but it's pretty good. Um, but I want to put out a few uh, weights here and. Uh, I'm going to set up a couple of these uh, units out in the back and we'll go take a look-see. Oh, and by the way, uh, shout out to Hilltop Packs. Uh, this is the closest representation I've found so far of uh, Mr. John Cranberry, the frog. Uh, I've kind of got a sister channel out there just as a little social experiment. But it's all kind of frog related. Um, my daughter on trail one time. we. We're looking at a frog and she coined the name and from there it's just kind of growing on a little bit but uh, it's a small little channel I'll add stuff to it on occasion but it's all gonna be frog and toad amphibian related stuff so uh, <laughs> anywho let's get to it well everybody just to show you this thing will hold um, roughly 195 at the moment so Hammock's probably good for 250 or 300, and uh, trekking trees and all this good stuff, uh, it'll hold you. So unless you're 450 or Andre the Giant, I uh, don't think you got to worry too much about this holding you up in the night. All right, so I got two uh, beta testers here. It's holding up their weights. I got one tree. Just pretend that's the only tree in the forest. And I got two hammocks. So on this one, I've got the Tensa trekking tree. And like I say, you can later on mount a tarp up here, but you've got this little plate that's got where you can basically mount your continuous uh, loop for your hammock there. And then you got your suspension that comes down and then since the ground's pretty hard, I don't have the stakes all the way in. There's tree roots and everything, but you see the uh, boom stake down here, and you kind of just wrap a little loop around it so it tensions it in place. And then that basically just holds that there. And if you need to tighten these lines, you can basically uh, pull these out, milk the, the berry here, and go forth. So. Like I said, that one's the carbon fiber. And 
It does sink into the ground a little bit there. Uh, if you have a rock or something you put underneath, that might help if you got soft ground in spots. And then little helpers over here in the uh, other hammock, which I've got attached to the tent solo. So this one, it's just got this little loop you put here at this last section, and it's got a little toggle. So you just put that on your continuous loop. And then you put your suspension loops over the top of that and uh, just bring those on down too. So you keep your uh, two uh, stakeout points roughly, give or take, about six feet apart. Uh, it's probably a little more than that in this case, but just as a good rule of thumb. So you got enough uh, horizontal support and everything. So what do you guys think? Nice. Comfy. Pretty good. Yeah. Weird looking tent. <laughs> Weird looking tent? Yeah. It's are hammocks. I thought they were supposed to go on the ground. No. It's like a bean. Bean. Got a little visitor here. Roof. Roof, 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 roof. Yeah. What are you doing on Mikey Cat Channel, huh? That's right. Get out of here. everybody if you like what you've seen feel free to like comment subscribe give me a thumbs up hit that notification bell for uh, notifications of new content and I'll catch you again in the outdoors as always thanks for watching <laughs>